many here on the show, don't we, about the absolute waste that happens all due to the world of cancelled culture, the woke brigade, you know? And the bit that I don't really truly understand is why people just simply give in to them, you know? These are like petulant children. It's a bit like this singer, Sam Smith, who's now apparently not he or a she, but referred to as they. <laughs> it's ridiculous, isn't it? There's a lot of things I might refer to Sam Smith as. It's simply not those, you know? Absolutely. But it does seemingly make you laugh. Recently told you here on the show about the Virgin Airlines that were going to let their cabin staff dress basically in what they want, you know? If it was a man, he could wear full makeup, have his hair in a bun, carry a handbag, even wear a skirt. Apparently, it didn't really affect the fact that he was flying. Let's hope he's not wearing high heels if he has to put the pedals down, but we'll just keep it there. But now over in Whitehall, yes, over here in the United Kingdom, civil service staff have been given not one, but two badges. This is all because they don't want to offend anybody who wishes to change, you know, whatever they want to call themselves, non-binary, gender fluid. You couldn't make it up, could you? Now, people are saying, oh, this is so forward thinking. It's all about inclusivity. Absolute rubbish. The problem you've got there, the bigger issue, is simply this. It's a big security threat. Because as you can imagine, by offering out so many passes, nobody's going to know who is what, when and where, and where they're exactly going to be working. And tell me this, civil servants out in Whitehall, simply across the road, you know, at what point do you decide whether you want to be a man, a woman, gender fluid, non-binary? Does that happen just as you snap up your purse as you walk into the work? How does that seemingly work? Now, until somebody gets an absolute grip on this situation and basically says, as was often said here on the show, there's simply two genders, a man and a woman. Whatever you want to call yourself, do it, but not in a business time. It's no place for this sort of stupidity. But while we have bosses willing to pander to this particular need and seemingly as ever, make sure that they're not offended while offending all those around us by wasting thousands of pounds with all of these ridiculous schemes, then we can't move forward. But the bottom line is over here, it's just making the civil service look even dafter than it already did. As ever, I'd love to know what you think to this particular story in the comments below. Do you have this in your part of the world? Are we simply too soft over here in the United Kingdom? Should things be a lot harder? As ever, do let me know your thoughts. Neil Sean in the heart of a very rainy London.